Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I thank France, Germany and the European Union for organizing this vital conference. One year has passed since the outbreak of conflict in Sudan, which unleashed a catalogue of horrors, a nightmare of bloodshed that has killed over 14,000 people and injured 33,000 more. A nightmare of sexual violence against women and girls, a nightmare of destruction that has reduced homes, hospitals, schools and other vital infrastructure to rubble. A nightmare of hunger and displacement, with over 8 million people fleeing their homes. And a nightmare for Sudan's neighbours, who are increasingly feeling the spillover effects of this deadly conflict. Today, half of Sudan's people need emergency assistance. We cannot let this nightmare slide from view. When I was High Commissioner for Refugees, I witnessed the inspiring generosity of the Sudanese people who opened their doors and their hearts to those fleeing conflict and persecution from neighboring countries. Today, we must summon that same spirit of giving to alleviate further suffering in Sudan and urgently scale up aid. The 2.7 billion US dollars humanitarian response plan for Sudan is only about 6% funded. At the same time, the 1.4 billion regional refugee response plan for the Sudan crisis is only about 7% funded. I appeal to the generosity of donors to step up their contributions and support these life-saving efforts. We also call on all parties to protect civilians and ensure full humanitarian access. We urge effective and coordinated international mediation efforts to stop the fighting and we call for civilian groups, including those representing women and young people, to help lead an inclusive political process to get Sudan's democratic transition back on track. I pledge the full support of the United Nations. My personal envoy, Mr. Ramtan Lamamra, is totally engaged in this effort. We will work shoulder to shoulder with all of you to end this nightmare. It's time to support the Sudanese people it's time to silence the guns, it's time for peace in Sudan.